Good evening. Welcome to another Sunday Live. My name's Emma Goddard and you can find me at coastalcrafter.com. Evening, Sue, how are you? Have you been out in the garden today? Um, we've just had a very chilled day here. Um, I thought we'd have an equally chilled evening with a little bit of um, water colouring. <clears throat> oh, my throat's gone. I just sort of clear some of my stamps off my desk. Uh, chaos. We've just finished eating dinner. So good evening. Hey Hazel. Hey Lisa. Um, yes. What have we got in store? So I have. Well, I say I've been chilled. I have this afternoon. I have loaded up lots of new classes on my website, which is very exciting. Um, so while people are joining, I thought I would share that with you, and I will share. Hello, hello. I will share a little bit later as well. Let me see. Let me see if I can share this easily. Um, hello, hello. Um, share, share screen. Yes, I can share that window. That's what I want to share. I want to share that with you. So, over on my website, so coastalcrafter.com, um, if you click on the um, classes and tutorial, classes, tutorial and more drop down, there's um, a couple of bits here. Um, the uh, classes and events and then the purchase tutorials so i've put two new tutorials up um there is the new awash in beauty which is the all-star tutorial bundle and you can subscribe for the next six months to those tutorials and you get one free um and then um brian king and i have been running um for the last we've had three um kits um, and they have been UK and US kits only, but we have launched an online version. Um, so you're able to download the PDF for the eight cards with a link to a video. Um, and if you purchase the online option before the 12th of August, you'll be invited along to a bonus Zoom call with Brian and I. So all the details are there for the tutorial. Um, classes and events are here as well. So I have loaded up. Abigail Rose is just about still open. You're going to need to get in quick. That's going to close, um, probably should have closed already. Um, <laughs> so it's hanging open. So if you want to come on the Abigail Rose class at the end of July, 22nd, 23rd, get in quick because I will be closing that shortly. Um, and then I have loaded up August, so Ringed with Nature, including the Celebration Papers. September is Fond of Autumn, gorgeous, gorgeous stamp set bundle. Um, October is Bowels of Holly, and then in November I've got a Joyful Flurry class. There may be other ones added in, but they are um, set for the next um, few months. So there you go. Um, and then you just click into them and um, all the details are there. So it tells you all the details. This one is also an in-person class on the same day as well, actually. So there's an in-person in the morning um, and then the evening is the online. So just choose the option that you want and then just click to secure your place and that will pop it in your basket. Um, so there you go. That is where my cl classes are hiding. I have been a busy girl in there. <laughs> um, so it means you've got the um, dates in advance. So um, they are typically um, either a Saturday evening or a Friday and Saturday evening. Um, for the classes. Um, it just seems to fit well with different time zones if you're coming to the online class um, as well. Sue says she's not around. If you're not around, um, there is um, 
a PDF and an edited video, as well as an exclusive Facebook group. So the live replay goes into the Facebook group. Um, but you do get sent out after the dates of my classes an edited video embedded in the PDF so that you can store that and then return back to it any time you want. Um, and that is exclusive for those that have attended um, the class. So there you go. That is all my classes, but onwards to this evening. So let me just um, pop you down to <clears throat> my desk view. Uh, Janet, you are welcome. Chris, it looks like we're going to be busy too. I know, lots and lots. Oh, Chris uh, has purchased the tutorial. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, I have been busy, busy. Um, just getting them all sorted and up and ready. So um, when you purchase a class and I confirm your booking, a ticket comes by email. And in that ticket is the link to the Facebook group. So you can join that already. As soon as you um, purchase a class, you can go ahead and join that Facebook group. And then you know that you're in that group um, from purchasing the class. But if you ever get stuck um, with links or anything like that, you can always just reach out and message me um, and I will help you out. So, evening, Kay. This evening, I thought we would do a little bit of relaxing colouring. Now, I had done this um, on a blog post a little while ago. Uh but as soon as it's watercolour month, I think, I don't know if this is a stamping up announce thing or an international thing, but I'm going with it. <laughs> I like the sound of it, so I'm having it. Um, the um, I thought I would watercolour these um, happiness abound flowers. And I thought I'd share with you a technique that I love to do. Um, which is to colour from the lines that you stamp with. So we'll do navy first and then we'll have a play with some different colours. Uh, do night of navy. Ah, oh, Nat says love to watch you watercolour. Oh, thank you. Um, I have a card going out on my blog tomorrow morning, uh, nine o'clock. Um, so I've got a reel to go along with that. I have been super organised. I'm saying I have a chill day, but I have I've made a reel. I've got a blog post written. I've got my classes up. Um, <laughs> busy, busy. Um, so there is some water colouring on that as well. Right. Let's do how many of these should we do? Do one big and then a few small. So I am stamping in Night of Navy. Oh, Kathleen, you'd requested these actually quite some time ago, I might add. But, um, yields. Uh, Right, let's take it out. <laughs> I need some of those energy, but I know, like, on it, on it, on it, on it. Right, let me get rid of me so that you don't need to see my concentration colouring these. Let me zoom you in. And... Sue so says card and a cup of question. Oh, yeah. The card and a cup of membership is also open. I'm not sure if that's what you're referring to, Sue. But, um, yes, it is open, open, open. So um, it is um, open to join any time. It is um, £12 a month or £65 for a block of six months. This one here. Down it. It's happiness abounds. Oh, I'm on them. Oh, Sue, I'm on them as well. Um, they will be um up tomorrow evening. I am nearly there. You're gonna love them. Right. 
uh, let me pull in. So this is just water on this brush rather than adding extra ink. So I'm going to use the lines that we've already painted with to pull in the colour. So can you obviously see that that is then drawing the colour onto the um, petal. I'm trying not to kind of rub through the lines because I want some definition still there left behind. And also, guess what? I have this set. Woohoo! Um, and I'm just going to take, you don't want too much water on your brush, otherwise it'll all just run. Um, and if your brush gets too much build up of colour, just wipe it off on a little um, cloth or on your chamois, it's perfect for that. And then... Um, you can, depending on your particular night of navy ink, some of them are highly pigmented with a pinky undertone. So don't be surprised if yours ends up looking a bit pink. Um, if that's the case, I would um, try maybe Starry Sky or... Um, you've got a misty moonlight from a retired colour or something like that just try your different blues and see which one you're happiest with um, this is not an old old night of navy by the way i have got the new um ink pad um uh, Melissa says regular, but no, um, you'll want watercolour paper for this. So the Fluid 100 or Shimmery White, so that the ink moves um, from the pretty, it looks like um, kind of China, doesn't it? Hey, Heather. Okay, says I've never done this. It looks gorgeous in... Um, Per any colour actually, purples or the darker colour seems to work best. Um, so you're just pulling, pulling those lines in. And it's a very relaxing. It gives you... Um, that um monotone tone on sort of um what's the word monotone isn't it one color um now i am going to um ah uh, melissa says um this is beautiful never tried this oh i hope you'll give it a go um definitely less is more for sure um the more water you put on um the more it will flood so just find that balance but just stamp out um plenty to have a practice with um and try and do it sort of leaf by leaf um as well so that you're not losing the definition between um your petals Yeah. Okay, I know what I'm going to... Monochromatic. Thank you, Janet. That's the word I was looking for. Monochromatic. Um, okay, so it's, she's got... You've got this lined up tomorrow for your crafting now. Uh, let's do another one of these big flowers. Very relaxing just to have a play. But just a different technique with the watercolour. 
So there, my brush have got a bit too dry. So just adding a little bit more water. Mm. Yeah, not monotone at all. That's, that wasn't, yeah, monochromatic. Uh, um. I love a night of navy with um, like navy and white or navy and gold or just with a metallic, so like even the silvers. <clears throat> It's pretty. Um, so in our celebration brochure, we've got the metallic um, papers that you can add for free. So I thought I might add some of them to this card when we make it up. Now, we've got the kind of colour from, I'm just going to move you out a little, so you don't quite, so I can get the paintbrush in a little bit more. Um, I am just, uh, my stamp pad has stayed closed the whole time. So my brush is um, wet to touch, but definitely not dripping with water. If you add too much water, it will flood too much. Um, so I'm going to add some ink, water, just water there, and then some darker ink into the center i'm just going to dot that in and kind of let that do its thing definitely don't want it too wet i'm just making sure that my brush is not too wet when i'm picking that ink up Give them a little dot. <clears throat> it's kind of a bit too much, so I'm just going to take that. And created our own centre then. Happy with that. So. There we go. So we've got some pretty, pretty blue flowers. Should we have some leaves as well? So this set comes with two styles of leaves. And stamp them together, actually. Now we'll just go while they're drying. We will... Again, ink pads closed and away, and my brush is just wet to touch, but definitely not dripping. And um, I'm just going to pull in some of the ink. edges like those magic coloring books when you were kids when you just used to paint with water and then the color would come through do you remember those i think you can still get them i've uh, seen friends of my, friends with them with their little ones and um Something magical about putting the water on and then the colour all appearing there. Yeah, Katie, so true. Um, just need a windmill. <laughs> it is, it's that kind of chinery delf. 
No, I always think that when do sort of um, Knight of Navy. I'm going to add a touch. I have added oh, too much, too much water there. It's the beauty of watercolouring because you can just lift it back up. So I'm going to add, I have added more ink with these leaves. Otherwise you wouldn't be getting, you wouldn't get that intensity of blue. So, just a bit of a different look to them, isn't it? So we've got our leaves painted. So you could leave that to dry or um, so that we're not kind of hanging for ages. I will give them a blast with a heat gun. But um, now this has dried here in the middle. I'm going to add even more um, blue. So I'm going to add more navy to that centre and build that up. And even more on that one, although that is a lot darker. So you get that variation of um, tone then with those. So I love those leaves. We might do something with just stamping leaves on the background. I think that's gorgeous. Um, let me put the lid on my water so that we don't spill it or. Um, anything else? Mm. Okay, we'll cut these out. So this um, set has dies. And let me just find them. So, Cures or Poppiness. Definitely has dyes. Definitely, definitely. There we go. Right. So this has dyes for the leaves. Uh, dyes for that flower and dyes for that flower. And then I will give that a little heat blast. Um, just bring the camera back up. Let's give it a heat blast. Just to dry it off. I know. Getting <laughs> too. Uh, well done for not dipping your brush into my copper. I know. So easily done. I've definitely done that before. Before now. Mm. I cut those out and I will bring them back. Yeah, it definitely dies with this one. Uh, uh, the dies cut all of these so nicely. Um, although I may have put them a little close together to die cut. But Leaf die going that one, and oh, I had that. Um, 
is it? I can't line that. Oh, got it. I couldn't line the flower up. Always the way. So, um, let's do another drink. them all cut out at once doesn't it so there you go there's those and I've just got one more leaf to cut out and then we've got them all made this card I used some of the hues of happiness paper which does have a lovely blue in it um, however we have got a couple of things um, Oh, I've got sun prints and I've also pulled out the Abigail Rose because that's got some lovely grey florals in it. That is Abigail Rose. Um, or, um, oh, I did say, um, Sue says about the Night of Navy and Silver, we have got the Celebration DSP. Feels this one, which is beautiful. So there's a gold stripe, um, a gold dot, and a silver stripe and a silver dot, and it would go with either, but the silver would be pretty. <clears throat> we could go dots and stripes. Oh, let's do silver for a change. And could blend a little bit of colour on there, or we could keep it really clean with the stripes. Mm -hmm. Let's do a white piece to layer onto. And then we can work it out from there, can't we? Stripes. Have a half and have this kind of coming up there like that. So, um, and just have half and half or pull it across slightly and then maybe just have the stripes on that side or we could go diagonal which is kind of how I had the original one which is um, I'm all right thank you I'm being offered ice cream I mean I don't want to decline what flavor is it vanilla just it's very nice <laughs> Where's it from? The corner shop. Oh, very good. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Uh, it's very nice ice cream. I mean, you know, Emma says have the ice cream. I, I, I have. <laughs> I've had a mouthful of ice cream. Oh, very nice. Where's ours? Mm. So very random. <laughs> mm. Oh no, I can't decline ice cream. No, they're both. That's very nice. I want a whole bowl of it, really. It's 
spoonful was not enough. Right, let me, so diagonal as it was what I had done with the other card. So it is a bit samey, samey. Um, but if you hadn't seen that card and you haven't seen this te technique, then it's not the same at all. It's brand new to you. So, um, let's put those leaves on there. What do we think? This is, I'd be disappointed if you didn't eat it. No, I was nearly like, no, I can't possibly. I'm on my life. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> mm. Right, we need a sentiment on this. And shall we have, what shall we have? Ba -ba -ba. Birthday wishes. I love the best wishes from Cottage Rose. Love that sentiment. <clears throat> I think that's going to be the one. Our best wishes. And then we can do something with that. So let's do that on navy. Should we do sil silver embossing for a change? Don't get the silver embossing powder out enough. Let's do that for a change. Maybe silver. Mm. Ah, thanks, Maggie. Um, mm -hmm. Let's do, do Versa Mark. Have a few of these. So if I do silver, okay, and then we'll heat that up. This is magic with the silver. Magic, magic. Shiny. I love the font on this, it's just gorgeous. <clears throat> gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Really gorgeous with the silver. Yes, best wishes, it's a wedding card. No, I would say best wishes, even like best wishes for birth, wishing you best wishes. Um, I might put best wishes and then happy birthday. So, um, Let me, I'm going to trim these down. Um, so I'm going to line up against the edge of here rather than the edge, because if I put that, it's going to be squint. So I'm going to line the sentiment up. And Trim 
that one a bit too close, but that's okay. Three out of four is not bad. <laughs> and they're pretty. There. That's whistles. It would make a nice wedding card though, wouldn't it? Congratulations or anniversary. Mm. Mm, that is a bit close. I'm going to get rid of that one. Not happy with that one. And <clears throat> so let's stick this down then. So we'll have this going on. Uh, leave it plain we could I might do another I'll do another one with a bit of um we'll do a dotty one with some blending on because that silver will give you an, an embossed resist effect and then this is very similar to one that I put on my blog Or dimensional these on. Mm. Yeah, and then we can glue or glue dot. Oh, there you go. It was meant to be a reminder for you, Em. <laughs> wedding card the next weekend uh, have that. Oh. there I will have that leaf up. that top corner I think it needs something to balance it up there doesn't it Too, too sticky out actually from the card and now I have the best wishes in there we could put a bit of twine behind that as the silver um, thingy twine isn't there baker's twine and then there is the, this one Let's do that. I'll do some loops of that. And we can tape that on. So, hey Holly. Um, let me drop this tape tears, isn't it? <laughs> no, you need too many hands. Down, stick down. Right. Peel that back so that those edge pieces can just come in like that. And then we'll pop it on with a dimensional or two. There we go. We've got our silver and our navy. And should we have some? I mean, just some basic rhinestones would look pretty on that, wouldn't it? Because of the silver. I don't think you need too much else. Although there is the blue. There's these ones which have got the blue in it, but I think rhinestones are probably the way to go. So I'm going to go classic. 
Classic rhinestones. There we go. I'll pop that on a navy, navy base, I think. Uh, I'll just do half a piece of cardstock and then just score that in half. So that's um, 14.8 and then scored at 10 and a half. And that will just sit on there with a skinny border. Um, so, what, what colour shall we do? Wonder if. Hmm. I do like the navy. I might stick to the navy, but let's do I like the leaves all over the kind of background. So I wonder if we could do a bit of a one layer. Let's see. So if I cut that to 14. So do you like that? Okay. So navy, I know I love it. So Pretty, isn't it, Holly? Navy's <coughs> classic. Mm -hmm. Right, let's stamp some of these leaves. I'm going to separate them out so that we can be a bit more random with our leaves. And I wonder, ooh, what about, what about doing different leaves what about splendid thoughts same technique but different leaves <gasps> this could be pretty so let's do maybe hey Jacqueline Hello, hello, hello. Right, let's do navy. And um, we'll have these leaves. And these leaves. I can fit some in there. Yes, I think I can. And there. Right, so these are I've swapped up to do splendid thoughts leaves, but same technique. So this is on watercolor cardstock. And we will oh, put my finger all over the ink. <laughs> and <clears throat> where is my stripe? It's gone. Let's do dots. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Let's do stripes. Might end up doing. Might end up doing a solid piece of navy actually, rather than stripes we'll come back to that we'll figure that out once we've painted it hey Jim um right let's bring in so I've just got some water and a little cloth and <clears throat> move that so it doesn't glare but, um that, out of the way. that way and I'll just move it in a little closer so uh, again just water and we will start to pull in these leaves. Mm. 
And so this set's gorgeous. I didn't think I needed more leaves in my uh, stash, but um, I've used these loads. <laughs> Um, just really enjoyed how um, kind of I love the thin lines and how kind of clean and simple they are really mm. um, navy speciality paper Oh, is that the um the, the brush stroke one? I think I've got that. That could be nice. Yay! <laughs> uh, yes, I have this set too. Might be on a roll tonight. Yay! So I'm not adding any extra ink, I'm just pulling in from the lines that are there. It is like magic. Turn that. We can add some extra ink afterwards once this is all dried, if we want to. I'm using the medium tip brush because these leaves are pretty, um, well, they're not massive, but you're covering a reasonable area. So you want a big enough brush to move the ink. Uh, gone a bit outside the lines, but I don't think anyone's looking. Um, oh, thanks, Lynn. Um, was this a new one to you, Holly? It's um, yeah, just fun, fun to have a play with the watercoloring. As I say. I have done this in a class and some people have had their navy result in a a very pink looking leaf. Um, so I'm not going to, you know, I'm just I'm just putting it out there. There is a lot of pink undertones in some of the navy ink. Um, it's not faulty. It's just the way that it is. Um, it's uh, so just if yours turns very pink. Um, just try a different colour. Don't be disappointed. Um, kind of in your first attempt, if it goes very pink, pull out a gorgeous grape and do it in purple or try a misty moonlight. Um, or a merry merlot or something like that. Have a play around with different colours and see which ones you like. Um. There, we're nearly there, nearly there, and then we'll get, I think, a little bit of darker ink on some of the insides of these leaves mm. 
and let's bring in the ink pad so i'm just opening the ink pad now mine's a huge mess but shows that it's um loved <laughs> and we'll just add some darker darker touches to the insides So if you've joined part way through, I was sh sharing at the beginning that I have listed my classes up on my website. Um, so there is um, July's class is still open and we're using Abigail Rose. But be quick because that will be closing sooner rather than later. Um it won't close tonight, but it will probably close tomorrow when I get home from work. So um, just, yeah, if, you, if you'd if you like to join that class, do it, do it sooner rather than later. Um, then I've got fund. Uh, no, I haven't. What's the one I've done? Uh, Ringed with nature. So there is a coordinating celebration paper um with that one and that is a single class in august it's the 27th of august i've got an in-person class in the daytime um at felix and tabitha from 10 30 so if you're local and you want to come to an in-person class the class will be running on the saturday in the daytime and then that same evening i will have an online class running um so you can join with a kit if you're in the uk um or anywhere in the world um for the online um in the evening and that's from 7 30 uk time um, and then there's the um other classes up as well for um september october and november um, but with all my classes there's a facebook group um that the live plays into and then you get an edited video with a full PDF instruction sheet um, that comes out at the time of the class. So you don't have to, you can watch the live back if you want to, but you don't have to. You can watch the edited video with the PDF and you can go back as many times as you want and watch the class. So let's add, it's nice with the darker um, layers. You don't have to add that, but it just um, adds a little bit more shadowing. Uh, it is the bank holiday weekend, but it means I've got the Monday off. Happy days. <laughs> so, oh, fab. So, yeah. It means that I've got the, the the Monday off, which is nice. Right, let's do yeah, nearly there. Done. with that so let's add uh ah oh, janet thank you that says classes are so much fun glad you enjoy them i love putting them together so um it's always lovely to know that you enjoy them right let me grab a piece of navy i think so Let's do three centimetres or an inch and a bit. I uh, should cover up that. And then maybe we could tie a little bit of stripes or something around that. 
Uh, oh, Maggie, make it look so easy. It is practice, 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 practice. Um, and kind of not over it because like none of mine's perfect. It's all kind of out, you know, it's out of the line and it's, it's just not going over it too much. Um, stripes, stripes, should we have some strips? Uh, Let's do one inch of stripes. Let's do that. I don't know. Hmm. Don't know. What do you think? We need a bit of twine or something going around that, don't we? What have we got? Um, starry sky. Will that coordinate? We've got starry sky. Hmm. Don't really want to put that around it. This ribbon, which is really pretty, but it's more vanilla. But I think that would kind of match with the watercolour. Uh, it might be all right. Let's glue this down. <laughs> twine always. Always twine. It's going to, yeah, definitely on a navy base, I think for sure. And we've got one of our sentiments that we're going to put on there as well. So that's going to happen. Do we even? I wonder if. Wonder, I wonder. Do we need the stripes? Not sure. Just wonder if we put. Let me move you up a little because I'll just. Let's do it. Well, I like the stripy paper, but it's more white than vanilla. And I just wonder if that, with some twine and a sentiment, be sufficient. Yeah, ribbon. I'm feeling like the stripes are maybe not needed. I don't want to kind of force them onto the card. I think we'll go. Same as we did on the other one. Best wishes. And then that could sit on there, which would be pretty. And then we might just need to like triple some dimensionals because that knot is quite high. <laughs> uh, let's just get that to hold. So I'll put a glue dot on the ribbon. Happy, happy. And then let's get some dimensionals going either side of just on the corners really so we'll go corner corner and we will double dimension and see if that holds and if not we can always dare I say triple dimensional but it might be enough with a double mm, I think we might need to oh just about catching I just don't want to have it bend over the knot we'll triple 
the knot's there anyway, so we're only kind of bringing it up to the height of the knot. Um, triple dimension does seem a little crazy, but I say the knot's there anyway. It needs to sit over the height of that knot. There. Perfect. That's going to sit on there. And that just breaks it up with that ribbon coming through. Probably have done like a faux bow to avoid the knot, but too late now. Too late now. <laughs> and then we'll pop some rhinestones on. Um, I've got bits and bobs of rhinestones. That all over the place. Uh, let's just do three, shall we? One, two, three. And then let's put that on a navy. Um, navy base. Right. Uh, the other half here. And I would just pop a white like inside or a vanilla inside so that you've got something to write on with that one. Um, just gonna trim that a little. Just a tiny, tiny. That's better. Always, if she has bling, that's a bling emergency. We've got a uh, I'm covered, right? Let's stick that on. Now I've got the navy base, just simple, simple with those leaves. Um, yes, we've heat embossed the sentiment and added a bit of ribbon and stuff, but actually, you could just pop the sentiment directly on the middle of that, and it could be um really simple just do a whole page of those leaves and then chop them up there you go um that is let me just sketch that forward a bit there you go that is the two cards we've made for tonight showing you a watercoloring technique um I am warm. There you go. That is two cards and um, using the Knight of Navy. I hope you give it a go. Um, and um, if you want to share the cards that you've made using this technique, um, you can come on over to the Stamping Cove Facebook group and you can share any of your creations, whether it's these or um, any card, other cards that you have um, made, feel free to share them. Um, if you go back to the start of the video, I have um, shared all the classes and where you can find them on my website. Um, I'd love to have you join us um, at a future class. Um, or my membership is open. My card and a cup of membership um, is open. And um, we have a live crafting session every Friday morning at half past 10. Um, and the replay is there for you anytime. And it's a fab group and um, lots of fun, lots of um, creative um fun in there um so do come and check it out um thank you so much for joining me um have a great week whatever you are up to and um i will see some of you on friday morning for card and a cuppa um and for everyone else i will see you next sunday have a good week everyone and i will see you soon bye